was a little bit foggy whenever I was driving in again, so is it still foggy? What's the deal? Yeah, we're dealing with some patchy dense fog across eastern and southeastern Kentucky this mm -hmm. morning, so something to keep in mind for your morning commute. Otherwise, it's a cool start. Temperature readings in the 50s across much of the viewing area, so a light jacket will definitely be handy. But no worries, no light jacket needed this afternoon. Good. Plenty of sunshine expected with temperatures back into the upper 70s to around 80 degrees. So some good news there. Let's get into the temperatures right now because I want to talk more about the temperatures just west of the I-75 corridor. Pretty cool spots there from Danville down to Somerset over in Monticello, checking in the lower 50s. Otherwise, a good chunk of eastern Kentucky still sitting in the mid even upper 50s for those morning temperatures right now. So as you head out the door, Please grab a jacket because it's going to be chilly in some of those spots, along with some of the patchy fog we're also dealing with. But later on this afternoon, I'm going with a high of 79 degrees under mostly sunny skies for that bus stop forecast. So another nice but warmer afternoon in store. So get out and enjoy if you can. Of course, we're still nice and dry, and it's because of this high pressure. It's spinning across the Missouri Boot Hill right now, and that's going to keep much of the Ohio and Tennessee Valley region dry. And we'll do so not only for today, but for tomorrow as well, we're watching a cold front to our north. This is actually tracking eastward across Iowa and the Great Lakes region. And the good news is it's going to continue to track eastward. But for us, maybe a few extra afternoon clouds could be possible. But otherwise, I still think those mostly sunny skies dominate our region's weather for today. Back off behind this first cold front, we have another cold front working across the U.S. Canada border heading into Montana. This one's going to take more of a southeastward track, and that's going to bring our rain chances into the forecast, especially as we head into your Friday and Friday afternoon. Now, here's a look at future view. We start things off at 9 o'clock this morning. Temperatures in the upper 50s to around 60 degrees, so a cool morning will prevail. We'll quickly warm up into the upper 70s to right around 80 degrees later on this afternoon, and then we'll see a few clouds begin to make their way across central and eastern Kentucky. But like I said, I think mostly sunny skies do prevail for for today and into the first part of your evening and then we'll see some partly cloudy skies hang around through the overnight hours. Temperatures are going to cool back off into the low to mid 50s and as we head into Thursday, we're going to see clouds begin to increase, especially Thursday afternoon into Thursday evening. That's ahead of a cold front that we we're talking about that's currently across uh, portions of Montana heading south and eastward from Canada into U.S. That same cold front is going to track into central, eventually eastern and southeastern Kentucky through Friday afternoon and you can see some of the darker greens, even a few yellow showing up here on future view indicating some of the heavier rainfall that we could see. Now the good news is not expecting a whole lot of rainfall and this system is going to be qu pretty quick hitting as well. So maybe a quarter up to a half inch will be possible in some spots and in behind this front outside of the rainfall is the next big weather story and it's those cooler temperatures by 1030 Saturday morning. You can see some of the green showing up just to the northwest across the Great Lakes region, even into the Commonwealth and across the volunteer state. They're indicating some of that cooler air. And that's going to last through the weekend. But back off into the west, we're going to see a ridge of high pressure begin to build up once again. That's going to provide those warmer temperatures across the western United States. And yet another again, these models are hinting at another cold front by next midweek or so, which could bring some more cool air back across the Commonwealth. So something we'll keep an eye on for your extended forecast. And here's a look at that seven day forecast where your weekend is always in view. Deal with those rain showers through Friday, cooler by the weekend, sunny on Sunday, and that's going to continue into early next week with temperatures eventually moderating back into the upper 70s for those afternoon highs. Let's get a check of the refrigerator art this morning, see what we have behind the magnets. Love showcase and all beautiful artwork from the kids here across eastern Kentucky. And here's another spooky one for you guys. This one's from Preston over at May Valley Elementary. And I tell you what, he went all out. That one is <laughs> yeah. spooky. He went all out on this one. You're talking uh, spooktastic, that's yes. what I'm going to call it. Yeah. If only I could decorate my yard like that. If I had a yard to decorate like that. Yeah, and I've seen sure. a few decorations, not a whole lot yet, but maybe people will get more into the uh, Halloween spirit here yeah. over the next couple of weeks. Maybe